If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. The Layout Designer window lets you change the appearance and placement of data fields, text boxes, labels, and images within the printed version of the form template. Within the Layout Designer window, you will see the printed version of the form within the main screen, surrounded by a ruler that appears at the left and top sides for measurement purposes. You should also see the margins of the printed version of the form. There is also a grid displayed on screen you can use to align objects on screen. You can scroll the content within the window to view the objects within the printed version of the form template. There is a toolbar at the top of the window that contains buttons that let you manipulate the selected objects within the window. At the bottom of the window you will see the name of the currently selected object, the current magnification level, the placement of the selected object on screen, and its dimensions. There are also two buttons named Margins and Grid that allow you to control the appearance of the margins and grid within the window. You also have a checkbox for Show Envelope Window, which you can check to show two areas within the window where window envelopes will display billing and return address information. This can assist you in placing that data within the correct areas in the form if you intend to use window envelopes for mailing these forms. You can change the magnification level of the Layout Designer window by clicking the In and Out buttons within the Zoom button group in the toolbar at the top of the window to increase or decrease the size of the area shown on screen. As you make changes to the objects in the Layout Designer window, you may make a mistake or make a change you do not like. You can click the Undo button in the Undo Redo button group in the toolbar at the top of the window to reverse changes you make. If you accidentally click the Undo button too many times, you can click the Redo button to reapply a change you have accidentally reversed. After making changes within this window, you can then click the OK button at the bottom of the window to save the layout changes and return to either the Basic Customization or Additional Customization window, depending on which window you were previously viewing before you clicked the Layout Designer button. You can also click the Cancel button if needed to cancel any layout design changes you made and return to the previously opened Customization window. The next few lessons within this chapter will examine the tasks you can perform within the Layout Designer window. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.